I wash my soul in the ocean in the tears of God I let it go October 2020 video horoscopes with me Lada from astrolada.com and guys October will be the most pivotal month probably the most stressful month again as well this year not that it has been easy but it's a culmination of events that has started around the spring or late winter that are now in your personal life and globally are going to escalate to the highest point. We are going to be tested, but something amazing can come out of it. Uh, some big turnaround in our lives, some big total direction, change of direction, and big feat and achievement that we can do. I'll talk about that. And Mercury is going retrograde. Mars is still retrograde big big things are coming in october so stay with me but before that just to let you know we're starting a four month master class on horary astrology which is the most practical astrology that ever exists if you want to be an astrologer or if you want to use astrology not for psychology and what is your nature like no specific questions is he cheating on me and who with <laughs> is she anger older from work or whatever you can see such specific answers with hor horary astrology or where did i lose my earring and will i find it and in how many days or months <laughs> very very specific am i pregnant or you know anything that uh, natal astrology cannot answer which is much more global in general this horary astrology course will um horary astrology is what you need to basically answer the specific questions you have or other people have for you it's fantastic and it's very easy astrology and it's the three payment uh, plan so you can pay in three times over the four months so check it out now let's start with the october astrology Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, October 2020. Libras, you might find this month the most pivotal, the most important, life-changing this year. Uh, your whole horoscope is lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> and definitely for the cardinal signs like Libra, Aries, Cancer, and Capricorn, of course, you including, it's going to be probably the one of the more difficult but one of the most the month that you've made the biggest breakthroughs let's see why first of all uh the planets here in your fourth house saturn jupiter and pluto are finally all going to be moving in a direct motion you might start feeling it already from september some of you but october you'll definitely feel from the beginning of october a huge change uh in matters regarding home property place of living and family some of you have been really tested in regards to those matters some of you had really in the last almost two years very heavy responsibilities with parents or with property or some complications at home life or very heavy responsibilities as parents or taking care of something or someone as a care as of some sort and you might have felt like the situation is stuck and it's not moving and you might have felt like, uh, okay, you want to, okay, you're ready to transform, to change there or to move forward. But it, something is blocking it, especially in the last few months, because planets there were all retrograde, Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto. They were moving backwards, which means um, things had to be put on hold in matters regarding home, property, place of living. Uh, maybe they were a bit too burdensome, too heavier, because Saturn retrograde becomes so much heavier <laughs> in responsibilities. You might have felt like there will be no end to it, but you're going to start to feel the end of the tunnel now. And gradually, September, especially October, you'll feel it like the wind is changing there. Say, for example, you've been trying to find property or to relocate or to sell property. Now... There will still be challenges and things to do because those planets will receive difficult aspects there. But those difficult aspects doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It means that some hoops have to be overcome, to be jumped, some challenges. But the, because they're starting to move forward, you take, you like take a decision and in October you start moving towards that goal, towards that decision. Some of you might start feeling a relief with certain parental duties or relief with certain responsibilities at home or property or some complications and delays with delays connected to place of living 
and your safety, emotional and safety, internal, emotional, family safety is starting to get resolved. You're starting to see progress ahead. You know, so some of you might find the property or start the process of relocating or fixing the property or, or just start to basically to see the results if they've been fixing till now such things, if they've been delayed, things finally start to, to, to give results in regards to that. So if you are in any career connected to insure, sorry, to uh, real estate, any career connected to caring, nurturing, uh, taking care of young children or older people as well, you start feeling like a little bit of a relief. It's still stressful, but there is a forward movement. It's not stagnant. That's the good thing. And you'll be fully relieved and you'll fully resolve such issues by the end of this year when Saturn and Jupiter move out of your fourth house there. Um, but, and also if there have been some problems in the family with a mother figure, with a parent or with your family members as well, um, you're going to start feeling kind of, again, a bit more hopeful and that you're starting to see the results of the efforts that you've put. Uh, but Mars continues to be retrograde in your seventh house. It started in September, the whole October it will be retrograde. So that might be probably some of the most testing times when it comes to relationships. A retrograde planet, especially Mars, in the seventh house from your sun, moon or ascendant can indicate that you're having more uh, altercations with others, more confrontation that uh, your partner, for example, might be feeling more stressed or might be feeling more uh, anxious or they might be going through some difficulty in their life uh, that you might have to help them with, but they also can be testing towards you. And not only your marriage partner, it might be a business partner, it might be clients, anyone that you have an interactions on a one-to-one -one basis with can feel like a source of, uh, can feel like a source of trouble or can feel like they're stressing you. But the ultimate goal is that interactions with such people for, for this planet, Mars going retrograde, is that you review such relationships that you maybe decide to change strategy because you can only change strategy when and see matters in in regards to your relationships, personal business or with clients on one to one through a different perspective when Mars is retrograde. So it gives you the benefit of a different alternative route to proceed with in your relationship. So to to perfect the relationship, if it's the right relationships you are in with clients, personal You'll do the hard work when Mars is retrograde. There will be some challenges. There will be uh, needing to make a different plan of action, Mars is action, in regards to how you approach your relationships. Or if you're working with someone in a collaboration on some project, for example, you might find yourself that it's more stressful, but that you need to revise the plan. Uh, you need to do it a few times over. Maybe you need to go a few times over with it. Or maybe you're... You know, maybe you're working with someone to do your website or to, you know, on an equal basis. Uh, they're like a partner for you. You're trying to, you know, uh, collaborate, basically. So working with another person, not only we're not talking any more, you know, personal relationships only. We're talking any kind of relationships. Such, such people can become a source of stress or... Uh, a source of change for you that also pushes you to change and such people can also quite motivate you to make a change in your own life um, it's almost like interaction with another person whether your marriage partner or boyfriend girlfriend or business partner they're the ones that press your buttons and they're the ones that make you motivate you or make a change and it might be painful it might be stressful but the ultimate goal should be that they become like your engine uh, for transformation and change and to change your action and uh, approach to life, so to speak. Uh, but, you know, the relationships that are stable, that are good, that uh, generally supposed to stay in your life, they will just be perfected while Mars is retrograde. They will be taken to a next level, so to speak. You'll be given an alternative and different approach and different attitude towards those relationships and by the time Mars starts doing moving direct so from the middle of November you'd have things will come down there and you'd have a way better relationship with the client or personal partner or you know 
uh, another one to one, maybe very close friend. Um, and you might even achieve with another partner feet some kind of your partner might be able to overcome something that's big for them some to win some battle by the middle of november but the battle is feels quite intense they might be, it might not be directly affecting you let's say but the, your partner might be going through something as well when mars is retrograde that they're having some inner struggle or struggle in their life and that they're most stressed around that time and they'll resolve it by the middle of November, things will start going much smoother and maybe they'll be on a different, better level in their life than they were before. So you need to be a bit more understanding towards others because your interactions with others will be very colored by this um, inner transformation that's happening in their life, which can feel stressful towards you because they're changing, they demand that you change or they, you have to adapt with their own change as well. But relationships that are not good, relationships that basically have, you know, lost their spark in your life, that they lost their purpose and productivity in your life, they might be re removed. You might break connections with people. Bam, Mars retrograde. And you do it with, basically with the ax. Mars is a sharp instrument. And you're like, I'm done. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I would confront that person. I would uh, try and, you know, if if they wanna follow me or if they if they're on the same uh, path with me, they will stay. If not, they will leave. And that can be like a clean cut <laughs> separation for some of you. And again, it's not only about your marriage partner. It can be about a business partner, about clients about some other one-to-one -one relationship like with a friend so there are many possibilities or oh, it might be a contract the seventh house you might be asked to revise a certain contract and to be unapologetic about changing its rules and saying okay this is not fair let's fix it and if it's not gonna happen you can just break a contract with another person a written on written all right but so there is, so there is the big changes that I see is in your personal life, home, family, and emotional state of being. I thought the fourth house is not only home and family, it's, and this is your, how do you feel emotionally inside? Uh, you might have some breakthrough if there is some karmic pattern in your life from family, inherited from family. This is the fourth house um, that has been slowing you down, that has been repeating over and over, you know. Maybe your family was addicts and this is the family karma and you've been struggling with that to break that mold. Well, now those planets starting to move for the last time ever in 30 years, direct in your fourth house, you can finally see like a break, like you are separating from this family karma. It can be any family karma. It might be family karma that of poverty, family karma, of conflict, you know, anything that's repeating pattern that you've seen it in your parents, in your grandparents, in your extended family. Well, you're working through those issues and you're going to start feeling relief and you're going to start moving away from them and forward. They're not going to be a blockage for you anymore from September, from October onwards. Still some issues to work through till December, but you know, but there is this clash between Mars in your seventh house and the planets in the fourth house. So you can feel like, you know, the changes that are happening in the life of your partner or in your partnerships are, and the family changes, uh, they're kind of spurring each other. They're, they're connected somehow, um, you know, so <laughs> definitely it's very personal. All the personal houses are being activated, home, family, emotional emotional life relationships but there is also a new moon in your horoscope guys in your sign in libra and the new moon is around the middle of the month which means that after that you have the green light to start new beginnings in your life you personally that don't depend on others only that are not connected with your home living environment you personally will instigate you are renewing yourself with this new moon in the first house some of you might even want to renew their appearance others might renew their physical strength 
you may be felt quite unmotivated September part of even part of October some of you but this new moon after that is gonna just start bubbling with new ideas when there is a new moon in your sign whether it's your ascendant in Libra or Sun or moon there is like a download download of information from the universe of new creative ideas of new alternatives for the future it's like it's the future is being encoded so you're gonna get ideas write them down and start them after the new moon start them you know from the middle of the month onwards and <clears throat> and that that this renewal of life force as well that can happen and you're feeling fresh to start again well, let's not forget that Mercury is also going retrograde. So you're doing big introspection on your relationships with Mars in the seventh house and contracts and agreement and revising them. But you're also going to do the same with your finances because Mercury goes retrograde in your second house from the middle of the month. I would say the whole month you have to be a bit more cautious with your personal finances. Don't, <clears throat> don't go doing some <clears throat> unexpected new... Uh, things with your money that you've never done before. This is, you know, it, it can backfire. It can have a surprising results. But for example, if you've already put your money somewhere, you can just, uh, you know, have to make some corrections and changes. Some of you just have to rebudget and re-examine their finances. Sometimes they can be a financial strain with Mercury retrograde in the second house, but it's only so you can learn to better manage. Mercury is a manager, organizer. Uh, to better manage, to better plan your finances, you know, make a plan <laughs> type of thing. Uh, make an inventory of your resources and possessions and assets. It's very often I've seen as well when Mercury retrogrades in someone's second house that they decide to declutter. Second house is all your possessions, the material things around you. And Mercury is like, hmm, do I really need this? Okay, take this old clothes, <laughs> give them or keep just this, or they, uh, you can receive something, you know, something, uh, you can um, take something old and revise it, give it, bring it back live, but it's something material, it might be a piece of clothing, it might be a, some kind of uh, possession that you have, and you can restore it, or you can, um, bring life back into it or start using it again that's another way it can play out uh what else it is so yes being more being more um what's that word called being more meticulous and being more intentional as a retrograde planet has more intention behind it with your finances and resources and by the end of this process if there were complications with finances or you have to change business plan financially and strategy for your finances and resources it's and, and there might be some complications like money being held you have to not being able to withdraw money or being or something to do with your credit cards be careful you know don't lose there is a possibility sometimes either to lose pin codes or cards or uh, even some money sometimes. Um, but if you are very intentional, which means more present, a retrograde planet requires you to be more present and conscious. Then the final result is that you can have way improved finances, but you would only see that from November. You know, from after the first week of November when Mercury turns direct, you can have more improved and uh, and improved resources. I seen another way that can happen. Say you're someone who is an artist. It works with certain resources. It works with certain canvases or paints. Mercury goes retrograde, and you decide that mm, the paints and canvases I'm using or materials, whatever it is. Let me revise them, maybe change them. Maybe there is a better, cheaper alternative or more higher quality alternative. So you can, that can be a fantastic thing to do while Mercury is retrograde. Uh, another thing is that Mercury goes retrograde in Scorpio. And Scorpio is a sign that likes to eliminate, to let go, to, you know, Scorpio rules the colon, the excretion of the feces in the body. <laughs> so, Mercury retrograding there, you'd really have an inclination to excrete things that are slowing you down materially. 
and to revise those things, to remove toxic material habits or eating habits. Because second house is also what you put in your mouth, what supports your body, not just externally, but internally. So some of you might revise your what you eat. Some of you might decide to, let me try to eliminate because uh, Scorpio likes to eliminate, you know, Mercury is in Scorpio in your second house. Let me try and eliminate sugar. Let me try and eliminate uh, dairy. You know, you might be forced into it even <laughs> if you don't want it. Uh, but you find yourself that you're able to better plan such things and execute them with more skill. Uh, and not only food, but external things as well. Uh, and of course, Scorpio likes to revive, bring life back into something. Uh, so again, as I said, taking all things and bringing them back to life. So these are some of the possibilities. Just be careful for financial surprises, so to speak, because when it's turning directions, such when Mercury is turning directions. So uh, another way it can play out if you invest it in stocks or whatever. Mercury changed direction in your second house. Well, the stocks will turn direction for you as well. Maybe you've been going down till now in certain investments, certain stocks that you bought. Mercury turns retrograde, you might start seeing going up certain stocks that you've invested the opposite way. Certain stocks have been going up for your investment. Mercury goes retrograde, you can you see reversal of direction in some way. So be prepared. It starts from the middle of the month, but you can start feeling it from the beginning. I should tell this to my husband. <laughs> He's liberalizing. Okay. And last but not least, Venus is in your 12th house. Whatever Venus is, you can receive some support, some sense of joy and pleasure, ability to escape reality through Venusian things. For some of you, that can be through pleasures of the bed. You might have more intimacy, let's say. In Vedic astrology, the 12th house is bed pleasures, and Venus is the planet of pleasures. So some of you might enjoy a bit better sex life. <laughs> Definitely with Venus there. Uh, the darker side of Venus in the 12th house is, or, or not only sex life, but like you pleasures, enjoyments in private. Say so some of you might prefer to watch more romantic comedies or something that gives you pleasure to read more books. Uh, when you're doing it alone though, 12th house is to do something alone to unwind and relax, to escape from the worldly duties and responsibility. And that's, you're doing it in your own privacy, kind of in a retreat. And you can do it in a healthy way. You can really enjoy meditations now or walks in nature or reading books or quiet time. You can have improved sleep as well. Have some horny dreams, <laughs> so, some sensual dreams. The negative side of Venus in the 12th house, and it's a fast influence. It's not going to last too long, just in October, is that you might kind of, your hidden vices, you might indulge in them a bit too much. Uh, I don't know, for some of you might be doing something hidden like, having an affair or having uh, or going online and watching certain things you know or, or or whatever it is some of you might be drinking so be careful with such tendencies of self-indulgence that change your consciousness or state of mind or that give you an escape from reality but are unhealthy because venus can increase that tendency try and get to the trying to get on the healthy spectrum of alone activities to escape reality uh, and yeah the venus in the 12th can also mean spending money but on pleasures on private pleasures of some sort as well it can also be good if you're going away some like a, to a spa that's a good time to go to a spa to retreat somewhere maybe on an island maybe get away for a few days from reality in some secluded very romantic uh place of some sort or if you're traveling abroad, I think maybe you're one of the signs that can have some pleasant experiences there if you can travel abroad, of course. <laughs> so there you go. And spending, as I said, but on things that you consider pleasurable. So there we go. Libra, a lot of happening. The biggest changes are with relationships, uh, personal life as well that we talked about and new beginnings overall for you. So, and also do check my new book. It's currently almost 50% off, around 40 for a couple of weeks. For planetary aspects in the NATO horoscope. Uh, it describes every possible aspect you can have and what it means for you with remedies. And uh, I don't spare the negative sides. I'm quite brutal, actually. 
but I also give you a way out and I give you an alternative to transform those. So check this out. Thank you.